everyone and welcome to today's Aeronautica game. And today we've got an escape uh, velocity mission. This is a mission you can download off GW's website. It's on the Aeronautica pages. The aim of the game is for this vampire radar to make it into orbit. It's currently altitude 1 and from the second end phase onwards it will automatically increase its altitude by 1. I can't ask to choose to do that. It will keep going until it gets to turn 6, which gets to the altitude 5, and then the Imperial forces will have one more turn to try and shoot it down before it makes it into space at the end of turn 7. Okay, British Red Hole really. The Allied forces made entirely of four drill ninjas, the Imperial forces is made entirely of Thunderbolts. Let's get into it. White will be Imperial, uh, will be Elder, and Black will be Imperial. Okay, so the Elder have it. We're going to give the initiative over to the Imperials so they get to work out where they're going to be. Hopefully that will mean that they're less likely to be shot down. Okay, so we will begin with this Thunderbolt at the top. It's got two. It's currently travelling to speed six at altitude one. Everything's at altitude one at the moment. And it's going to turn and go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's done. Let's go forward. I'm going to try not to give too much away, so we'll start with the um, radar. It's got a 1, it's currently driving to be 3, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and just park it there. Okay, already a bit annoying, we'll worry about that in a second. Okay, next we'll have another Thunderbolt, also a 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then over to the elder. So we've got this one, which is on six. Now it's coming jump speed at six. It's got uh, star engines, so we'll speed it all the way up to nine, which is ridiculously fast. And it will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it will turn to base in that time. Okay, I can be doing anything about this. I suppose this one could. So two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got this one. Also six. Speed up to nine. Turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then face that direction. So that. All right. Okay. Next, we've got this one. One, two again. It's going to slow down a little bit to four. And go one, two, three, four. Uh, that's quite close still. The problem with the Thunderbolts is their range is very good at medium, but pretty awful at short. Okay. So with that done, on to the shooting threads. Okay, so the Imperials get to fly first, and I think we're going to go with this Thunderbolt and add to this Wraith Fighter, okay, uh, because see if we can stop it from doing any damage. So it's only short range, it's only got its Avenger Cannon at short range, which is three guys, hitting on fives. The roll next, now he's got his ace ability, and I wonder if it's worth using at this point. I think we will use it straight away, because the re roll, um, that was even better, wasn't it? So, his way. And so the ability is now gone, and the Wraith Fighter was untouched. Okay, now, there's no point in me finding this one just yet. I might as well do this one if I can. Now, I wanted to see if I could jink out of the way of this. I can't, so what I will do is to jump. I will jump back there, to there. Not because it does too much, but because we throw behind them. So, this gets three shots in five hit. So one hit damages on a two plus, extra damage on a three plus. So just extra damage. Now, the Imperials have got armor proof compartments. So let's see if we can protect them. No, it takes two points of damage. Pretty vicious shooting there from the Red Fighter on first. the first. This is first go. Right next to the Imperials. So this one's done. Sorry, this one's done. 
This one could shoot at this, but it's possibly not working just yet. I've got this one, or I've got this one. Now, if I don't fire with this one, I can get shot down. I need to go with this one. Let me go with this one first because it's got two points of damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One range at the um, at the radar. So it's got its last cannons. So it gets one shot with its last cannons, which misses. It's also got its missiles, two shots with those, and they also miss. That was pretty terrible. That one's done. I've got this one left. I could have trench it with this, or I could trench it with this. I'm gonna go with the red fighter. It says it's gonna need out for a jink. And we can we'll jump back to there. Okay, and we get um, three shots, and then fives, one hit. Damaging on a two plus, extra damage, which caused two points of damage. Now, again, on the compartment, again, two points of damage from the wave fighter. What we got left with the Imperials, we've got this one, we've got this one. Uh, again, we've got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, last kind of shot, misses and missiles. One hit, and damaging on three plus. Damage is on three plus, and goes with one damage on the radar. So, we've got these two left. We will go with the uh, radar, and it's going to shoot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At that thunderbolt. It's got the twin pulses, so two shots, which both miss, and all looks of the way weapons are out of range. That's that turn. Thunderbolt here then. It's going to try and shoot a, a little fighter in front of it. Okay, all it's got is its auto cannon to close. That's two shots. On it. Damaging on four plus. Damage on four plus. And no extra damage on these, so it's just one point of damage on the wave fighter. Okay, everyone else can't shoot, so that one's done as well. We've just got one thing left, which is the little platform, force platform. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of that. Uh, two shots at long range. One hit, damage on two plus extra damage on a six. So, cause a point of damage. Let's see if it's on the compartment can save it. No, it can't. And the first one is shot down. Pretty good from the other one. Turn. Other than that, it's now on to the end phase, of which there isn't anything in this round, so let's move on to the next turn. Okay, so turn two, the white radar, Imperials. So the Imperials get the initiative this turn. So the Imperials will take the initiative because um, they want to be able to shoot first, and if I don't, I think I'll probably lose this plane, so it's probably worth trying to get um, one more round of firing in. Though it will mean the Eldar know where Imperial planes are, which could be problematic. Okay, so I'll start with the damaged plane. I'm going to use the damaged planes because they're the least valuable. And it's already lost its missiles, so it's not giving too much away. It's got a six, it's currently traveling speed six. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And turn to look in that direction, which I know is not looking at that, but I'm wondering if I can get some fire or something over here. Also, the colour bit is not going to be there anyway. Okay, with the Elder, I don't want to use these two yet. I want to know where this is going to be, so I'm going to use the big plane, hopefully with iron its um, switch points to keep it alive. It's currently trying to speed three. Now, I should say it's not allowed to take any of its fancy or power maneuvers all the way up to. Um, Six, five, and six because of the mission. The mission only allowed it to go up to four. Okay, it's uh, worth noting. So we've got a three here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way. So I'm just going to go forward one, two, three, and then turn back to look in uh, that direction. Let me just angle this one just like that. And there we go. Okay, so the elbow has moved down underneath the other one. Over to the Imperials. We go with a six. This one's currently traveling at speed six. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And turn to look in that direction. Four, five, six. At least we're going to get some good shots on the actual target. I'm going to say that was my 
this variable one, so we've got an eight there. So we'll take this plane, it's current trend to be nine, we're going to move it down to six. And it's going to go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, in terms of in that direction. The curl's turn, it has a six. This is going to drop down to speed two. We just go one, two, in terms of looking in that direction. Okay, lastly, we have the last growth fighter, which has got an eight. Okay, so it's going to be trans speed nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, and we're on to the shooting phase. Okay, the appeal sticks go first, and I'm going to go this to the plan first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that uh, point up there. So it's four, uh, six drops to the auto cannons, two hits, five and six. Right, it's got hollow fields, so that means I have to move all six. So I miss, so one hit, I'm just on a four cross, doesn't damage. Okay. Next, we've got his last cannons, two shots, they both mess, and then we've also got its missiles, which both hit. Can't be all those because they're not natural sixes, so these damage on three of us, and it's destroyed. Hmm. That's maybe more tough for the other, but there we go. So, what we've got next, the radar will go one, two, three, four, five. Six of that, so it's medium range. This gives it six shots for this um, twin pulse laser. One hit now. He has got uh, the, uh, uh, the ace ability, so he could re roll that, so I think he will. The pulse laser is quite good. And we get two hits this time, so it's worth it. Two hits. These damage on three plus. Oh, uh, dear. A bit there. Next, what we've got, we've got the nose monitored and scatter lasers with two shots, two hits, damage on fives, one point damage. You see this compartment saves it. No, it doesn't. He's not looking very good yet. And it's also got its Phoenix missiles. Okay, so it's got two sets of those. We fire one turn. So, two shots. And they don't miss as well. Well, that was pretty terrible. This is cause a point of damage. Right, what's next then? So it's the Imperials. No point firing yet because it can't. Okay, so we need this one left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so seven shots from its Avenger cannon. This one fives. Well, they all miss. And it's used its data ability already, so that's terrible. He's also got two shots with his last one, which also misses, and two shots with his missiles. One hit, damaging on a three plus. Damages on a three plus. Okay, so it's taking two points of damage now. I thought the Fury was going to absolutely decimate it. That's the wrong word, but anyway, you know what I mean. Right, that's that done. Okay, back over to here, the Wraith Fighter. It can now uh, jink. So we will jump to there, and we'll put three shots into this plane. One hit, damage on a two, which damage on a three plus, two points of damage. The compartment's over, one point it does, it still takes a point of damage. Okay, so we've got the platform left, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't really matter. More likely to kill this, so we'll shoot at that. So, uh, two shots, it's both missed. So, we're up to the end phase, and the radar automatically goes up an altitude level to altitude two. It doesn't tell me in the rules to do this, but normally you would drop the speed, so I'll drop down to speed two. Okay, so turn three, let's see who gets the the Imperials get the initiative again. Okay, so it worked quite well from last time. Shoot them first. And I think they will do that again. Okay, so stop this one. Come and travel at speed six. Oh, sorry. Currently traveling at speed six. Has maneuver six. 
needs to go up in altitude in a minute, so we'll do that in a minute. So six, it's going to turn that way and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then turns it up in that direction. Okay, go up in altitude of five, um, to altitude two, and drop down to speed of five. Now the are next then. They've got a big plane. Let's go over three again. And we throttle up to speed three. And it's going to turn one, two, three, and then look in in that direction. This is probably the least valuable next. He's more valuable because he's a fury cannon. So we've got a six. Coming at speed two, and it's got to speed four. So, uh, one, two, three, three, four. Turn that to four. And it turns to the of these. If we go that way, we go from altitude to two. And drop down speed to three. Okay, not the best position to break. Right. Okay, on to the night uh, for the crazy fighter. So an eight again. Love the eight on the elbow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I know he's not going to be there in a minute, but he is behind these two. So that is quite handy. Okay, we're going to go up to altitude to two. And therefore, drop down to the altitude. That's speed. Right, it just leaves. This fault, no, this fighter, he's got a six as well. Right, where should he go? So he's currently travelling to speed six, altitude one, so he's going to turn that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and turn him up in that direction. We go up to altitude two, and that always goes one way. And down to speed five. Right, onto the shooting phase. So the Imperials get to shoot first, I'm going to shoot first with this one. And the reason being is this one that's most likely to be shot down. And so therefore it makes the most sense. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's at medium range, set altitude. So it needs six shots with its pulse cannons and five hit. Four minutes, <coughs> brilliant. And two shots with its last cannons, which both miss. Well, that was terrible. Right, next, there was the other Okay, so the little fighter's going to drink to there for one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And three shots and the fighter hit. Damaging on two dogs. Extra damage on uh, three or more, so two points of damage. Does this compartment save it? No, it doesn't. Oh, it's blown to pieces. Wow. Okay, the Imperials then. Well, they're going to struggle now because this one can't buy anything. So we've got the platform and we've got the radar. So the platform is going to shoot at this, is it? One, two, three, four. If I should set that close one, I get one dice. Or I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like that one, I get two dice. I think we'll fire two shots with this one. Which makes any way to make no difference. And then I've got the vampire radar. I'm going to fire the one at the medium range. Uh, it gives me six shots from my pulsar. Two hits, damage on three, one point of damage. Does it say, is it saving it? No, it doesn't, it was two points of damage now. We've got the nose, um, scattered laser which misses, and we've got the final set of missiles, which also miss, pretty terrible. And with that, we're done. Now to the end phase. So, plane ultimately goes up to altitude three, and drops down speed. Two. Come on to the next turn. The elves don't have the initiative. I think the Imperials are going to go first because, again, it's always good to know where they're going to be. And we'll just have to weather the fire. So, and to be very happy, you know, I go from the Imperials so far. So, this one's got a three. It doesn't really matter which one I move. It's currently travelling at speed at five. The target's altitude three. So they get up there. The problem with it going up all the time is I can't actually shoot it. Yeah. 
ground offence and also has to be pinging away at me and there's nothing I can do. So, killing the trunk is five, it's throttle up to six, and we turn this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then turn and look in that direction. The idea is just to put some distance and see if I can get something in range. Okay, it's going to go drop speed, five, and go up to three. Right then, so we've got the radar to four, proton to be two, and throttle all the way to five, because it's doing great throttle of three. Okay. And that was into a snap turn, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. And just turn and look in that direction. Basically, the idea being um, it's a bit hard for anything to get behind me. So, next, you've got this, it's a six. You like my six because as you're already recognised, throttle up to speed five. One, two, three, four, five, and then turn and look in that direction. Drop the speed to four, go up an altitude to three, and just try and shoot it down from there. This one's not much use, this one's the one that's to worry about, and I've got my little fighter here. Right, it's coming to speed eight. So it's going to speed up to speed nine. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then turn to look in that direction. Oh, let's do it again. Okay, now to the shooting phase. Okay, so this is the option. We've got both the pivot points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it is in the firing arc, so I can shoot back with that with one last cannon, or I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll shoot that with one last cannon. I'm more likely to kill the Wraith Fighter with one last cannon, so that's what we'll try and do. So one shot at that, which misses, so that's pointless. So I'm not going to try and shoot this down. I'm going to use the Wraith Fighter because it's got the most chance. So three shots, one hit, damaging on a uh, tip up. Edge damage on three for two points of damage. It needs two sixes here to survive. It doesn't, and it shoots down the thunderbolt. So, we can't find it with this obviously now. We've got this platform one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, two shots at this. It's got an effective altitude of three, so it's still able to shoot at it for five to hit. So, one hit. Damage on two, plus eight damage, oh, the damage, the damage, the damage. But with that, we're on to the end phase. So, first things first, it is the plane automatically goes to altitude four, and I'll drop it down to speed four. And we're now moving on to a disengagement phase because the planes, the pivot planes, have been reduced to a quarter of their strength. So, let's see how the next turn goes. Okay, on to the disengagement turn then. So we've got uh, the other guy get the initiative, not that it matters, but they get to go first. So this plane will now go one, and just move forward. One, two, three, four. And the Imperial plane, oh, got two orders on it, both the same, both the three. And um, that will go, turn this way, turn this way, one. Two, three, four, five, six, and it's off the board, off it goes home. Okay, and the other build up plane will just do one and chase up. Right, there we go, nice. Um, with that, that's the game over. Well, they all have clearly won. Uh, the race fighters were pretty good as long as they could get at least one hit per turn, um, though it was getting a little bit hairy at times. Um, overall, not a bad game. The movement nine. Uh, Maneuver 8 on the Eldar is just ridiculous, it can just apply them to how to maneuver anything. But other than that, hope you enjoyed the game. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me what you'd like to see. I'm always interested to hear from people. And remember, always watch your six.